which was revealed and preserved in the original language and the previous, previous scriptures, which no longer exist, versus alterations and contradictions and various versions of the books that are supposed to be from God, the messengers, between being righteous people, examples to be followed, worshippers of Allah, establishing a prayer, calling people to goodness, and being the first to implement the goodness, or people, messengers getting drunk, and, and uh, committing fornication, and doing the most, you know, the most heinous of, of sins, that if, if it was attributed to a regular person, it would be very inappropriate, let alone a proper messenger of God. Furthermore, believing in the day of judgment as justice, it's justice and the scales being present, the good deeds and the bad deeds being weighed, the belief, and your good deeds being the criteria which is required for you to enter paradise and be protected from the fire, versus depending on the death of someone else, and living life according to your wishes, not knowing whether hell really is eternal or not, whether it is the body or not, all these differences. And finally, the degree, believing that everything is from God, nothing is by luck, or depending on luck in everything. And you know, lucky seven is so you all, you know, have twist your, you know, cross your fingers and you know, uh, different other statements that are used where people become dependent on the creation, attached to the creation, afraid of the creation, and distant from their Lord. So you make a choice that you think that when Allah, God, asks you on the day of judgment, which one was according to what I had put in your heart? Which one of these teachings was more harmonious? With the natural disposition, you'll be able to answer God with a true statement. Don't lie to yourself, because lying to yourself today is going to entail disgrace and regret on the Day of Judgment. So anyone who's listening to this, or may listen to this in the future, I advise you to make the right decision. Again, if anything that I said was offensive, I did not intend to offend anyone, I was only quoting. And if you are quoting from the source of the people, then this is the ultimate justice. I'm not bringing things from my own mind, I'm bringing them from the sources. So there's no offense there. There's only quoting. If the person wants to be offended by their belief system, then they need to reconsider their belief system. supplication, then yes. But you have to know that there are two kinds of destinies. There, there is the ultimate one which is المحفوظ, the preserved tablet. Whatever is written with Allah, the first thing that Allah created was the pen. And He commanded the pen to write. The pen said, what shall I write? Oh my Lord, He said, write that which everything that will take place until the day of judgment. And that particular moment, the, the pen wrote everything that will happen, including this particular moment. Now, this is called the Allah al-Mahfud, the decree of Allah and the preserved tablet. There's another kind of decree, which is the one that may change according to the our own actions. Now, that which changes is always in harmony with whatever was with Allah first in the preserved tablet. For instance, the Prophet said, Verily, the servant of Allah will be deprived of the sustenance which was decreed for him because of the sin that he commits. Now, in, this, in the preserved tablet, Allah had decreed way before that you will not get the sustenance. Yet, in the lower one, in the decree among the heavens, it was decreed that you will get it depending on your action. Upon you committing the sin, you lost it, which is in accordance with what was with Allah. Allah says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala erases whatever he wishes and he confirms and with him is the mother of the book. So the mother of the book is the one that has the ultimate things that will happen. And the other ones, Allah says that he allows some of them to take place and he does not allow others. Among them is the dua. Invoking, invoking upon Allah. Invoking Allah, excuse me, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove a disease, an illness that has befallen upon you. With, with the dua, Allah may remove it. And the Prophet said, nothing, nothing returns decree except the dua. They continue to battle in the heavens. Neither this one will go down nor the other one will go up, so it will prevent it from taking place. Something that may have befallen upon you. 
So this is to be understand, understood in this text. Yes, the acts of worship and the supplication and the good things that we do will affect the decree, but whatever that result is, it is with the ultimate harmony with the preserved tablet, which is with Allah. And that was the first thing that was written before Allah created the heavens and the earth. Is that clear? Inshallah. So make more dua. Make dua, supplicate to Allah, and ask Allah to forgive us all for our shortcomings. Yes, sir.